guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this look here. This is me recreating Jamie Genevieve's most recent post, most recent upload on YouTube. Whatever I titled it is what she titled it, so you can look it up. Um, I think this look came out beautiful. It was simple. I had some like brain malfunctions during this video, so if you continue watching it, you'll see what happens. But other than that, it was pretty simple. Um, really simple, actually. And I, it's just very sultry and like, ooh la la, but I'm not like going anywhere. So this is kind of like, I'm probably gonna get in comfortable clothes and just wear this around the house for a few hours. So if you wanna see how I got this look here, just keep watching. Okay, so I've been using the base tape by Tarte double duty beauty I just think that's something else apologize for the furnace sound in the background I'm gonna try and make this quick as possible I don't know if you guys know this but me and Michael live in a garage <laughs> I mean we really do um well, our room is in a garage we uh finished a room in a um well we created and finished a room in my mother-in-law's house so that we could pay off our car and save for a home. So that's the furnace, apologize. Okay, don't judge me, but I've downloaded TikTok and I really like it. I've even made some videos. That's not the point of this. The point of this is that on TikTok, there's this guy and he was saying that uh, people have been asking him how he gets his like matte face and it looks really pretty. And I'm not even one for like a whole matte face. Like I don't, I like the kind of, I like a satin coverage you know like full covered but satin finish and um but it just looks so pretty and so he said that he uses this which is a Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation but he uses the not the pressed powder but the um loose powder of the fit me Maybelline fit me and he uses these together if you're curious I am in shade 120 classic ivory for the liquid foundation and then for the set and smooth I'm in shade 220 natural beige so um anyway he said that that's what he uses and i was like oh my gosh it looks so pretty almost almost always unless i'm like doing something super quick to where i'm just like running out the door i almost always do my eyes first and then my foundation but since today i'm basically following a Jamie Genevieve foundation or a uh, tutorial that's what that's what's gonna happen I'm gonna do my face first okay and then and then I shall do my eyes okay so I'm just basically using the brush to get the product all over and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender I look dead in the viewfinder oh my gosh we'll fix that we'll fix that so funny so um <laughs> i have started like shaving my face because i just realized that it uh makes your makeup apply like a million times better like it just looks so much better so much more smooth it goes on so much more even and anyway so i've been doing that lately i was like legit shaving my face like shaving cream shaving my face michael's grandma <laughs> saw me oh and i just thought it was so funny because i like have a razor in my hand and you know and it was just hilarious i i look i look dead right now but i wanted to see if you guys can see what this looks like up close looks so much better from afar anyway so we're just gonna work with it we gonna work with it I mainly just wanted to get something up for for y'all for me because I feel like I'm slacking majorly well that's because I have been but uh there's a lot of new things going on in my life right now one of them is that I am going back to work full-time uh, it's been three years peeps three years full-time in a medical office and uh I'm nervous, but I know that I can do this job for many reasons well, including 
the computer program that it, we used at our old job to the same one that they use at this new place. So that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Urban Decay na Naked. So, uh, was it Naked? Stay Naked? I think it was Stay Naked uh, Foundation is what Jamie Genevieve was using as like a review in that video. Um, but I don't have that. But I do have this, and I like this better than Tarte Shape Tape. It is so, I don't know, I feel like Tarte Shape Tape is a lot more dry. I don't normally use this much, but when I see people do their videos, I just feel like it looks so much better when they, when they do it this way. Aren't these little beauty sponges just the cutest thing ever? They're real techniques. Um, forever I was looking for them, just the little ones, because I didn't want, I kept finding them in the pack and I didn't want the entire pack of them. But I found these in a small pack, I think it was like four for either 10 or $15, if I can remember right. And I love them, they're just so perfect for, well I normally use them for just the under eye, but I'm using it over the lid today because that's, I'm pretty sure that's what. Miss Genevieve did. If you guys don't, if you're not subscribed to her, if you don't watch her videos, you should. Not only because she's, you know, she does beautiful makeup, but she's from Scotland, so she has a really cool accent. Totally dig it. So now I'm going to have to fit me powder. I'm just gonna loosely, oh, right off. Dab, dab, dab. And then I'm loosely gonna swipe over it. I've been watching so many makeup videos lately that I don't even know like who I'm stealing this technique from. But whoever I was watching got just a little bit of product on their brush with some setting powder and just put it under there and then they went in later and baked with like a translucent powder. And it looks really pretty. Is that a whole face? I hope you guys have been enjoying your summer. You have walked in. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. What are you doing? Your eyes. Oh, my, I'm doing my eyes. Want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi. Can you say hi? Look, in the, look right there. Say hi. Go get Daddy. Hold on. Okay, now that she's taken care of, I think I'm going to go in with Naked Reloaded Palette. Another thing that made me want to do this is because I had this okay so she went in with bucked and that's basically all she used in the crease so oh shoot I should probably set that dang I'm getting ahead of myself okay I can't do that yet I have to finish my face so I have to do contour next I'm gonna use light contour uh, butter physician formula butter bronzer I um, have kind of been, you know, if you've been following watching me subscribe to my channel for a while, then you know that I really like um, the whole minimalism idea. I mean, I like, I just, <sighs> hold on, oh, it's so hot. Well, that phone call basically took the time to finish my bronzer. Now I look super dark. Oh, son of a god, what is going on me? I'm I forgot to do my print set my under eyes. Daggone it. So I have uh, the ColourPop No Filter setting powder and then I have, it's banana setting powder. What brand is this? Oh, Bella Pierre. Um, I don't know if I want, do I want the yellow? Maybe I'll just do a little bit of both. Let's try a little bit of both. For basically as long as I've been doing YouTube, I have been saying that I need to get a new, another battery. It's taking me two years, two and a half years actually, because our anniversary is in January. Uh, two and a half years to order that second battery, so it'll be here on Tuesday. I'm just gonna set that. Okay. Oh my gosh, it looks psycho. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the Ohos. So now I'm gonna go under the bucked fluffy brush. Did I set it? I did set it, right? I set them, right? Well, we'll see. Was it bucked? Oh my gosh, now I'm, yes, it was bucked. 
I feel like this looks totally different on her. I feel like it came out way darker on me. Remember when I first started getting into makeup and I started doing my eyeshadows? I'd be like, why does my eyeshadow never come out as blended or as good looking as you know the people that I was watching? Because of the magic of editing, I mean, you can go to one clip to the next and you're like, oh, okay, so that's, you know, how long it takes. But no, blending takes a long time. And patience, for real. Why don't I bring you guys in a little bit, huh? Why? There had to have been product on. Okay. Why do they look like two totally different colors? Did I just do something wrong here? Also guys, I don't, I started using these like baby Terry towels. You can get them at Target. I think it's like three for 10, maybe three for $10. Like somewhere around there. They work so good for cleaning your brushes or like, yeah, in between, you know, shadows and stuff. It's so like if you need the same brush but a different color, it works so good for that. Okay, I feel like this side keeps coming out darker. Maybe I just didn't fully set it so the color's snagging on to that concealer more than the other side. Okay, then I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. She used a different eye pencil for this. I think it was an, a lighter one, actually. I don't think it was as dark as this. It was brown, though. So I'm not going all the way in, although I can't remember if she did or not. Okay, so I used that. This is the, in the color Whiskey. It was really hard to get my hands on this. I had to keep checking to make sure it was in stock. And now she went in with Endgame. And she's an angled brush. I have a flat brush. So we're just going to make that work. And then she went and set. Wait, hold on. Am I getting my colors mixed up? No, that's what she did. Right? Yeah, she set underneath. That's what we're going to do. So later on, she went back in and smudged the under eye. I'm going to go back to the top of the eye, which is what I think she did. I'm going to do like a, just line the top straight, and then I'm going to wing it out just a wee bit. Maybe I'll, I'll let me go out of my comfort zone here. Let's just do it. I'm going to uh, go for an unperfect wing. Wait. Oh my gosh. I'm skipping so many things. So I had to stop and watch the video, and I totally did something wrong. I was not supposed to put the liner underneath. I was only supposed to go in with end game and lightly with a pencil brush, you know, put some under there. I wasn't supposed to make it so harsh. So now I am trying to blend the heck out of it. This is a, a pencil, it's an E30 from Sigma. Okay, what she did do though is use her liner to sketch out a wing up top right now. Okay, now I'm gonna take, so I just lined the top, basically it's not perfect, now I'm gonna take a, a, a flat brush and just kinda, if I had an angled brush right now, it'd work a lot better, but I don't think I have one. Just trying to smooth it out. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is coming out a whole lot darker than what hers looks like. That's just totally my fault. I'm also super excited to be able to film again because I, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a heat rash. I had a heat rash on my forehead. I'll, sh I'll insert a picture of what it looked like. And that sucker, oh my gosh. It was kind of, it only got itchy sometimes, but it was itchy. And it was just not the prettiest sight. So I still have some like a little bit like right here there's some friends popping up still. I have like yeah some right here. I don't know if you see that. So some residual friends but uh that's okay. They're definitely not perfect but let's move on to the next step shall we? Okay moving on. We are going to grab so now this is a Luxie 239 the pre precision shader. I'm gonna go in with Angel Fire just as she did, dry brush, 
She got a little bit of sparkle on the, on the inside. I feel like, let me just scooch it just a little bit more. A bit better. So you can get a real good look at what's going on here. Okay, so her next move was the Urban Decay Heavy Metal, like, they're like this, it's like glitter liners. I don't have that, so what I'm going to use to just amplify the the glittery parts is a little a little bit are um, the Desi Katie Friendcation palette. I'm going to go in with, I think it's Just a Kiss. Yeah, Just a Kiss. I'm use it on my finger their collaboration with Dose of Colors. I'm gonna just pop that in right there. It's definitely more of a warm glittery look than I think the Urban Decay, <laughs> Urban Decay, the Urban Decay glitter liner that she used in the video. Okay, that's fine. Good, good enough. See, this to me just looks like a mess, but I swear, once she put the lashes on and everything was like gravy, it looked so stinking good. So that pencil brush we used earlier to smudge out the bottom, I'm gonna clean it off really good. I've been wanting to get that that Beauty Blender, it, that the brand, Blah. the Beauty Blender uh, like brush and sponge cleaner. It's like it comes in a little circle thing and you like shoo, 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 and then like it's clean. I've been wanting to get that for a while. Okay, so now I'm gonna hop in with this is a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. And I'm gonna go in with Treasure. Treasure! I'm gonna go in with this one right here. It's just a really, really light, real light uh highlight. Put that right here. She added just a little bit of her stuff right on the brow bone highlight right there. Oh, that was a little bit more than just a little bit on that side. Okay. Next. Curl lashes. Put on mascara. This is Mary Kay's Lash Love Waterproof Mascara, and I love black. I swear this is... The holy grail for lashes, my lashes. It's the best one that's ever worked for my lashes so far. I know there's always new things coming out, so who knows, but this is the best. So I'm gonna do that and put lashes off camera and I'll come right back. And we're back, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it is so hot in my room right now. So, lashes are on. Um, did I put mascara on my bottom? I did. I put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lash. What she does, though, is she goes in with that. Where's that pencil brush? I'm going to use that again. She goes in with more of the bucked that we used on our lid. We just got all over our lid. She goes in with that to just uh, smoke out this bottom lash. Uh, cute face or what? <laughs> okay, so. I can't help but do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, now that that's smoked out, I think I'm ready to wipe away all of this bake. Okay. Ay, 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 Kendria Leanne. It's not like it's a huge deal anyway. I don't always contour my nose. Anyway, I'm going to go in with Sigma's Wide Shader E59 brush. Go back into that butter bronzer. And just 
do a wee bit of that, shall we? Okay, I'm using a super light hand. I'm also gonna blend this in, but. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and blend that out now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back into that uh, Fit Me powder to blend that. Better? Oh my gosh, I guess I went. When I look in the viewfinder, it looks a little cray cray, a lot cray cray. See, that looks terrifying to me. That doesn't even look like me. I like my nose. Maybe I shouldn't contour it. Maybe I shouldn't even mess with it. That's weird. Okay, I need to stop looking at it. It is what it is, okay? On to the next thing. Okay, I feel like things are going good. Gonna do my brows and then we'll move on to highlight and lips. She had At this point in the video, she had already done her highlight, but I'm just all over the place, so I'm gonna do my highlight when my brows are done. Literally like a sauna in here. Okay, so my brows are, I'm having one of those brows days when they're just being brats. So that is done. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more mascara on this. My left eye. Cause Okay, now I need to go to highlight. So if I had it, I'd be using my Anastasia Glow Kit, but my daughter and my two twin nephews decided to go ham on it one day and they literally just demolished it, basically. Shoot, I should have said this first. Okay, I'm going in with the Skin & Company Radiant Dew it's called truffle therapy. Anyway, so I'm gonna go in with this just to set things real quick. So when I had got this, I got it in the, was it BoxyCharm? FabFitFun box, that's what it was. I think, I'm pretty sure that's what it was in. And uh, when I got it, I was like this, cause I think it's pretty expensive. I think it's like 70 bucks for that bottle. I was like, meh. Anyway, so like I was saying, if I had the glow kit, I would still, I would be using that because I just loved it. I'm probably going to rebuy it. I'm, I'm definitely going to repurchase that. I keep forgetting about it. And then when it comes to highlighter, I'm like, just wish I had that one. It's in the, the top middle shade on the glow kit. I just love that one. I forget what it's called, but it's my favorite. Michael and I went on a date night last summer. And um, I just remember like get, using like a big fluffy brush and going ham on my legs just everywhere with that highlight. Okay, highlight is done. I, gosh, this brow is just, oh, oopsie. Okay, she had used some bomb lip products that I do not have, so we're going to, there's a mirror right here, I keep looking right here because I'm trying to look at my face. We're just gonna figure out what I have and then use that, okay, okay. Okay, so the highlight I used before, they don't make it anymore, so it's kind of like, not even worth saying. Um, and also with this lip gloss or lipstick, they don't make it anymore. Um, anyway, so, but I'm sure there's like a million and one of these lipsticks that you can find similar to this shade. Like my 90s color is what I like to call it. 90s. Okay, so that's subdued. And then I'm going to go on top of it because I like love gloss. I have to have gloss. I'm gonna go on top of it with Moonchild. This is from the uh, Kathleen Lights and um, ColourPop collection. Okay, so this is the finished look, guys. This is what I like to call the pretend I'm have Friday night plans. I feel like it came out really good. It's really pretty. Um, and again, it, I mean, it, physically, talent-wise, it was not, not difficult. Uh, I feel like the lashes are really kind of what puts everything together. I couldn't tell you what lashes these are either. I don't know exactly which ones they are. But I know that they came from Sukana. So they're Sukana lashes. Um, I really like, I really like picking out, uh, faces, <laughs> makeup looks that I like other youtubers do and then try and recreate it because it also 
helps me decide like what type of face I want to do. Anyway, this is a finished look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I wish I had some sort of plans tonight, but I don't. That's okay. I'll probably edit and upload this video tonight. As always, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I love you. God bless you, and I will see you in my next video.